Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm Cyclone, time for our Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. So we're going to continue our Class 66 uh, funsies today. And I actually I came to discover, and I came to do this one, this one is actually in two parts. Let's scroll down and take a look at the scenario. We're on East Coast Main Line South. And I'm going to get to the bottom of the section here. You're going to see it just trains 222 down here. That's another train we have to check out, uh, probably on the Midland Main Line when we get to that one. Uh, which I've done a couple scenarios on the Sheffield to Derby part already, you might recall. Uh, so we're going to come to that in the future, but we're looking at the uh, Class 66 GB Rail Freight AP. Yes, AP. This is an AP scenario uh, using the Class 66 Enhancement Pack uh, published eons ago by AP. Probably, in my opinion, still remains one of their best packs. Uh, it's one that I would definitely pick up because there's a lot of use for the 66 for those who like freight services. You definitely will be able to make use of this because it does update on the default uh, train. Mind you, a lot of, I should say that carefully, it updates on the default train, but it adds a lot of reskins that don't uh, exist otherwise in the game as is either. So, uh, there's this is one of the many new liveries added as a result of this pack. Now, I don't remember if I applied the branding patch or not, so the GBRF might not be on the side of it or some other branding might be missing. And we'll see what I get in if I actually added the branding or not. But, uh, one way or the other, this is the uh, Class 66 GB Rail Freight uh, part one of two, early on a Sunday morning, and Network Rail are finishing up with an overnight possession just north of Huntingdon. You must drive GB Rail Freight 66743 from there to Hitchin via a runaround, a runaround it says, but a runaround, at Wellwyn Garden City with a rake of 18 loaded JNA wagons. In this first part, we'll be going as far as Wellwyn Garden City, of course. So uh, this is in 2014 that this scenario takes place, which makes sense. The route was uh, published around that time, 2013-2014. So um, scenarios made around that time make sense. That's the year we're in. Let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to look at part two next week, but we'll talk about that later. So we'll look at part one right now. I don't think we have any starting text to worry about here, so we're just going to get in the cab and get going here. So uh, looking at the... Uh, Oh, that's what's beeping. Okay, I see. I see. I saw the flashing red, and I wondered what that was. So it looks like there's a stop sign kind of sitting the wrong way here. That's kind of funny. Master key is going to go in. It's in forward. We're going to take the brakes off. As I do that, I'll turn the headlights on. Ish. Whatever. Uh, we're going to go. I don't know which setting is correct, but we're going to go with that one. I'm going to go ahead and apply some power, and off we eventually go. So our tasks are, we have no timings, just go. So our task first is to stop at WGC up sidings. Okay, where is that? That is 39 miles away from us. Awesome. You know, got a nice long drive ahead of us on the East Coast Main Line today from Hitchin, I believe we're starting at. Let's actually uh, confirm that quickly. If we zoom in over to here, yep, we are up here at, what is the siding? Huntingdon. We're coming from Huntingdon, and we're going to pass this yellow signal. Of course, if you have the signal pack, it will behave differently. I don't have the signal pack, so it's just going to turn... Wait a second. Oh, now it changes. Okay. So now it changes. <laughs> it actually didn't pa didn't change the second I passed, which is kind of funny. But it just goes straight red now. So let's get on the way with our many, many JNA wagons. The Scenario is meant to feature the JNA wagons, so I'm going to just take a quick peek at the wagons as they go by here. Not the tree, the wagons. Looks like I do have the branding, by the way. So these are the JNA wagons. These are the feature of this scenario and uh, of the pack that this scenario comes with. So you can see we have some loaded... Um, it's either rocks or something. What is that? I think that's supposed to be just like gravel type stuff there. I think it's just gravel in the wagons. And that is what um, we're hauling today. So we're going to get to see how easy or hard it is to start and stop a train loaded with uh, this stuff. Uh, we're, and as you can see on the HUD, we're going to be moving into a 40 mile per hour speed limit just a moment as well, followed neatly by a 75. So it's a good thing we're not anywhere near up to speed yet. But in any case, there's the last of the wagons. And we are off. We have left our uh, starting point completely at this point. So back into our cab, and we will uh, go ahead and do our movement here. Let's uh, get ready for our 40 here. Actually, I'm not even near 40. I can still speed up, so no issue here. 
So let's uh, take a look at this. We're going to turn on the computer because I like having the computer on. So um, that's not what I want to do. I just disabled and enabled visual alarms. Okay, we'll try that again. There we go. That's the computer. And uh, what do I like to turn on? New information, I think it is. Uh, there we go. That works. All right. So I believe uh, because we started at Huntingdon, this um, or the near the Huntingdon area, this has to be Huntingdon Station. That would make uh, logical sense here. So I mentioned that we were starting at Huntington. I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Whoa, do we have a red signal? We have a green signal. I was panicking for a second that I screwed something up here. But thankfully I didn't. We do have our green signal now. The yellow was to uh, get us on the path. It wasn't actually an indication of our travel abilities, thankfully. You can see that this train takes a long time to get up to speed. I'm going to expect it to take a long time to break as a result as well. So. We're not going to be uh, rushing to get this train to a stop in a mile. We're going to do this over a long stretch of time. So we're going to make sure we don't exceed 75 miles per hour at all on this drive today. Even though we started at 125, we're not going to exceed 75. In fact, indeed, we are on the slow line now. We are no longer on the fast line. This, that's what the 40 was for. So we've seen this route a number of times. There's not a lot for me to really talk about that I haven't talked about already besides the different stations and such going by. I'm not going to try to name all the level crossings or anything today. In fact, my notes for that have disappeared. I don't know where those notes went. But uh, all the same, um, we've discussed all that stuff in the past, and uh, I'm not going to do that every single video, obviously. But I will try and do it for a few where we cover the whole route. Uh, it can be interesting information where we're covering the whole route. Let's do a full review of what our tasks for the day are. We are going to be stopping at WGC up sidings. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up the map just to show you where that is. We're going to go to task number one at this point, which is all the way down here. Where is that? Well, there's a station nearby. That's Wellwyn Garden City. That's the signs we're stopping at. So we're going to be past, going by Wellwyn Garden City on the way to that siding. You can see obviously Wellwyn North right there. And a number of other stations that we're going to pass along the way. This is the area coming from Hitchin. You can actually see uh, Nebworth right there. You can see um, there's Stevenage. And a couple, I think one or two up the line is where Hitchin is. There's one in the middle there, obviously. Actually, a couple in the middle there. Hitchin is all the way... No, no, I went right past it. I soared right past Hitchin. It's right before the uh, line from Cambridge. So we're going to be having a line coming in from Cambridge before we actually pass by uh, Hitchin. We have a whistle board. Gonna go ahead and highlight that. Oh, to check the rest of the tasks, I should do that. We're gonna drop off uh, apparently uh, some stuff here at uh, the sidings. We're gonna stop at the self reversing line ahead of that, apparently. So you can see it's not very far away. We're then going to be going back to the down fast reverse, coupling to some more cars. And those are the cars we're going to be taking with us in round, in part number two. So uh, that's what we're basically doing. We're going to the sidings, then we're going to do some shunting, and that's the scenario. Just, that's it. Uh, 
as it looks like some water off to the right. Let's get a little uh, view from above there. Get another nice view of our train, actually. There you go. With the uh, JNA wagons. There's the water. Well, it looks like some kind of rural cornfield or something over there. So a nice little uh, view of the train as we go along. Back in. Here's a whistle board. One thing about the north half of this particular route is that it gives you a lot of chances to be horny. As in blowing the horn a lot. Get your mind out of the gutter. Looks like the main line has gone back to 125. We, of course, are staying at no higher than 75. In fact, we're going to be lucky if we can pull 70 at this rate. We're going very, very slow increase. Our line is giving us a speed increase to 80 miles per hour. We're not going to be taking that. Now up to 67 miles per hour. Now under 32 and a half miles to go to our destination, which is, uh, again, the sightings. Uh, near Walwyn Garden City. Forgot the name of the place for a second. See, we are passing by a station here. I don't remember the name of the station, so I'm going to cheat here. The station we're currently passing by, or we have passed by, is right there. That is St. Neots. Yep, that's the name I always forget. So, uh, the next station we're going to be coming up on is down here. That, of course, is Sandy. And after Sandy, we're going to have Biggles Wade. Now there is something I'm looking at doing on this route. I know there is an extension to Moorgate from Drayton Park on the um, that some that was made by GU Studios, and I actually came to discover that the extension builds right onto the existing route. So it will actually take the existing route, the one I'm looking at right now, and it will actually add that extension on. I'm actually thinking of doing that because I want to explore that little section of route since it does exist. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be exploring the uh, Hertford Loop because it still remains on scenery on that. The scenery extension does require some uh, some content, some uh, subscription wear, or as we call it, subware content from uh, a certain website. And 
let's just say that I haven't done that yet. And because I haven't done that yet, the um, it would not make sense for me to show off that work without having all of the uh, content that shows up on that side. I may do some poking around anyway to see if there actually is any um, really, should I say major content that I would need to swap out. If there is, then I may consider doing that, but at the same time it won't be what you would see, uh, but anyone else would see driving the route. So I may or may not do that. Odds are more likely on the not, because I got a lot to do anyway in this game. So um, I'm probably just going to look at doing the extension to Moorgate, which doesn't require any uh, really fancy things. Most of the stuff I already have. Maybe one or two freeware things I still need to pick up. And then after that, uh, I can run the the um, Moorgate extension for you. And it'll give us a few scenarios up to Welwyn Garden City in one case, actually, as a, as a destination for one of those. So I will look into doing that for you in the future. Uh, and it will extend right on this route. And we're going to have some... What I'll do then is the other packs that we have on this route, you're going to see that extension going off every time we go by there. So it's going to be installed, it's going to be part of the route permanently as long as I still have this PC and this installation. So that's going to come up in the future. Keep an eye out for Moorgate at some point. Don't have an ETA on that, maybe a while still, but I am going to try and do that before I do all the other DLC because I want to actually see the uh, Moorgate extension. Unfortunately, the Hertford Loop is going to have to uh, wait. Maybe one day, just not yet. We're now under 25 miles to go to the WGC Upsidings, or as you would know, Welwyn Garden City. We have a 65 limit coming up, so we're going to have to go ahead and let the uh, train coast for a moment to see if we can slow it down. The answer is no, we're not going to get anywhere down there near in time. So I'm going to see how good these... I'm a little worried about lurching forward with these uh, wagons. I really am. This could be a bit of a concern. I believe this is Sandy. I'm going to have to risk it. I don't have a choice. Okay, the brakes are actually stronger than I expected. That might be too strong. There is another 75 coming up. Let's 
Let's see what happens if I take the brakes off. I want to see if the train lurches forward. It is not, so I'm going to put one more small brake on. That should do the job. Okay, we're low enough that it's going to count. There it is. Didn't, we did make it to 75, so uh, we did make it to our actual speed limit today, which was nice to see. I believe that was the biggest way that we just passed. I know before we get to Hitchin, we're going to see, uh, I believe, Arlesley Station. Then things start getting a little bit closer together for the rest of the uh, journey to Walwyn Garden City. Looks like some warning signs for a speed drop on the uh, tracks to the right. I don't believe that affects us. If it does, we're going to be shocked by it. And they had a whistle. Oh, there's a whistleboard. board here. We just passed the sign saying we can go 80 miles per hour. However, we are going to be staying at no higher than 75. In fact, as the sign clears, we are updated to 80, but we're going to keep it at 75. We're now coming up on 18 miles to go to Welland Garden City sightings. Because if you weren't paying attention to WGC sightings, Welland Garden City. We 
We're getting a tw warning to drop to 20, so we're going to have to do that. That is one of those temporary speed restrictions, so we're putting a heavy, heavy brake application in. I don't think we're going to get this train down there in time. I don't think it's going to happen. This will be Arlesley. My brake is as high as it will go right now. I can't make it any higher. We made a good slowdown attempt here, that is for sure. I got it down. Look at that. Perfect. You have just enough time to bring it down. In fact, I let the brakes off thinking it was going to coast down the rest of the way, but I had to reapply them. So you have a little bit of spare time if you uh, catch the speed and you know what you're going down to the entire time. That is doable. Now as to why this track is 20, I have no earthly idea. All I do is drive the train. There's a work, man. Let's not throttle up too much here. We're at 20.7. I think I see another work vehicle up there. I'm not worried about the whistle board because we're a mile from the crossing right now. We'll keep in mind that we do have to use it though. Is that a train stopped up there? That's the possession train. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, this one's missing the branding. That is a Freightliner, so it looks like I forgot to put the branding patch in. That is a Freightliner train. And I think it's got the same kind of, uh, yeah, it's got the same wagons we do. The JNA wagons. The JNA-C. There was no point blowing the horn there, because as you can see, that train was literally in the uh, reach of the crossing. So there's no point really blowing the horn there anyway. Is that another possession train up there? Possession train too. <laughs> the question is, were we told about this uh, decrease in speed or was there no way for us to know? We'll check that in a minute. For right now, let's look out the window. Not that side. There we go. This, I believe, was the EW. No, this is the DV Schenker model. That label is there. Excellent. Of course, it has its trusty JNAC wagons. I'm waiting for the uh, T to end the uh, temporary speed restriction, the TSR. I have not seen it yet. I think this is it right here. T. So when the back of the train passes that, about 19 cars from then, uh, we're going to be able to go back up to our full speed, which is already trying to slowly increase its way up. We're not ready for that yet, so we're going to keep it cool here. I 
As soon as we get our 75, we're off. We have an 80, so I can now go up to 75 again. As you were, gentlemen, as you were. And ladies, just to be inclusive, ladies and gentlemen. But the saying is, as you are, gen as you were, gentlemen. Coming back up to 35 miles per hour at this time. Working towards our speed limit of 75. We are still about 14 and a half miles and change from the WGC sightings. Of course, the time it takes has been extended because of that TSR, the temporary speed restriction. I don't believe there are any more of those here. Usually a scenario will have one to surprise you if there's any at all, and this was the one to surprise us, so that's probably it. signals continue. There is a work vehicle somewhere in this area. We have a speed limit of 65. I just panicked, dropped my uh, 
Thrall f thinking I misread that speed for a moment. That's 55, but no. 65 it is. We have another 75 right after that. This is the line coming in from Cambridge. That means that the station coming up is Hitchin. Now we're getting into a little bit of a busier section here. As we continue to speed up, let's poke out and look at the map of what remains. That's the line from Cambridge right over here. And if we continue down, we're going to be passing by... Uh, that's Stevenage. I should have known Stevenage. Then there's where the Hertford Loop pops off. And then we're going to pass, uh, I think that's uh, Nebworth, which I think is followed by Wellwyn North and then Wellwyn Garden City. So four stations to go. So this little stretch of line between uh, Hitchin and Stevenage, there are no alternate routes to this section. Uh, but you're either going to come and go from Cambridge or you're going to take the Hertford Loop as your alternates for the rest of the line. We're now back up to a 75 mile per hour speed limit. Which once again is our effective speed limit for this journey. Approaching 67 miles per hour. We are within 10 miles now of the WGC. Actually, we're under 9 miles. Just reminder that I am planning to explore more of the West Coast Main Line, but I'm trying to decide if I'm going to continue that this coming weekend, or if I'm going to push some of that to next week to increase the variety on the channel. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to handle that, but definitely keep in mind there will be some West Coast Main Line North coming up again either next week or in or this this weekend or the following weekend. I have to decide what I'm going to put in the middle if I don't do it this week. Might even push it off by two weeks depending on what I decide to put in. So I believe this is uh, Stevenage, which means the Hertford Loop should be heading off now. The line is here in the game, it's just not uh, all scenery. That's why you don't see any scenarios going that way, and the scenarios that do probably uh, come from the site that uh, 
uses that has con that has its content on the route, the scenery content. In fact, I'm not seeing the line going off, so I might have actually missed it, and that might have actually been Nebworth I passed. Yeah, I think that I think I actually did miss it. That was um, nope. This is it. This is the Hertford Loop. I was right. It is Stevenage. So there goes the Hertford Loop over to the left right now. You see the rail line? Well, something crossing underneath. That's probably a line connecting to the other side of the track. So those lines meet up just like a highway interchange would, and uh, off you go to the Hertford Loop. up to 74 miles per hour so we are going at a pretty fast brisk speed now we have a 70 coming up so just as we get up to the 74 75 range we have to tune it back down a wee bit wonderful this is net worth Now the reason for this 70 is very simple. The tracks do become a uh, pair again instead of before that we're on right now. And you can see a yellow signal on the track to the right of us. That's the track in the same direction as us on the fast line. It is currently being held for traffic. Now I'm a little disappointed we didn't see any high speed traffic going by on that line while we were here, at least not much. I think that's because of the possession trains and the fact it's still early in the morning. There's not that much traffic out yet apparently. So. Um, that's probably why we didn't see a lot of traffic on the uh, in this scenario overall. So we are back under 70 miles per hour now at this time. are indeed junctioning onto the single main line and we're going to come off that junction uh well, our main engine is off the junction now but it's going to take a little while for the rest of the train to catch up we are then going to be entering a 115 which again for us means 75 miles per hour we're being given a flashing sink uh, double yellow aspect that means we're going to be getting ready to junction onto the slow line once again as we approach uh, Wellwood Garden City. In fact, we should be getting ready to slow down around that point as well. So we should uh, watch our speed uh, for a mile and a quarter from now because we are going to be a mile and a half out from our siding at that point. And sidings usually are pretty slow places to go. So even though the speed limit is 70 and again 75, there's not much point to going any faster than about uh, 40 by that point because we need to get ready to slow down anyway. So that is a flashing single yellow aspect. And I didn't catch if we already passed Wellwood North, but I think it's after this tunnel. So I think we're going to see Wellwood North right up here. Yep, there it is. This is Wellwood North. Easy to pick out because it's on a two-lane stretch of track with no fast track nearby. So it's easy to find that station. And there's the siding slowdown I expected from 25 to 15. So from 75 to 25 to 15 is what I, how I meant to say that. You can see all the different stop points and interchange points that we have coming up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get ourselves set up for our first point, which is WGC Up Sidings.
Keep an eye out to the right at some point. We will see Wellwood Garden City itself. The station. I'm putting some brakes on in the meantime to bring our speed down. Question is, will it be down in time? I don't know. Oh, is that a yellow? Let's say yellow with a junction indicator. Yes, that makes sense. Will my speed be down in time? There's Wild One Garden City. You can see what looks like A375 over there, I believe. We're going to get down to 25 in time, but we still need to go down to 15 because it's very, very close. Two tenths of a mile away. Going to take the brakes off a little bit now. So there's a WGC upsidings couple as it's being referred to. Brakes are coming off completely at this time. So we're taking the 25 junction, we're gonna move straight into a 15. Ah, there is Wellwyn Garden City right there, I believe. I called it early because I saw a train. I thought it was stopped at the station. So this is actually Wellwyn Garden City. So WGC Upsidings Couple. I'm going to go ahead and continue right up to WGC Upsidings, which is my destination point right up there, two tenths of a mile up. That's the end of the siding I'm referring to when I give that uh, distance marker. And there goes a 375. So I'm going to put some brakes on now to bring the speed down a little bit. I need to keep bringing that speed down because we're going a little too fast. Okay, bring it down to six. I've now entered the area where I can uncouple. The back of the train is uh, in this area. Not fully where we want to be, but it'll have to work. Just keep it on the back of the train. Are we going to get it fully into the siding? I don't know. We're certainly giving it a good college try here. We might do it. We might be good enough here. Gazoon height. That's well in Garden City once again. I'm going to go just a little bit further forward so I can get this train off the line. That seems to be the appropriate thing to do. And that'll do. So back into the... It's going to have to do because we have to let the train uncouple here. We have no choice. No choice. Nicely done, driver. You have reached the yard at Wellwyn Garden City where you will now run round. First of all, uncouple 66743 from your wagons. Now let's just make sure we know what we're doing here. We're going to be eventually coming. I'm going to actually bring up the uh, thing here. We're going to be reconnecting at which point? Let's center on where I am. That would be helpful. Here we go. So we're going to be connecting here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, oh, brother. Uh, so we're going down the fast reversing line, and apparently we're going to be running around over to the front of this train and then we're apparently going in the other direction for some strange aforementioned reason probably to hitch in maybe it's taking the line to uh, cambridge that's the best guess i have it might be stopping a hitch in for a trip to cambridge that must be what we're doing so i think i get it a little better what we're doing now i was wondering why we were running around 
Uh, but I guess we're going in the other direction. So let's go forward just a little bit more because we do need to go forward a wee bit more here. And that'll do. I'm close enough to the signal now that I'm just going to go ahead and let it off. So we have to drop off 29138 and everything else behind that apparently is what I think that means. So yeah, that's what we're looking at, the stars. So uh, that uh, backwards, everything behind goes off. Look at the uh, large numbers on the uh, engine. Interesting. So we're going to drop that all off. That uncouples that. We are inching forward with that. Now head for Wellwind South reversing line. Roger. It's a star car and a star engine now. We're gonna have a lot of uh, speed potential now with that. So let's take the uh, throttle or the brakes off, and oh boy, we're up to speed early. We're up to speed in a hurry on that. So we're now on the Wellwind South reversing line. That should lock in our journey back in the other direction. It has not happened yet, but it should. We have to register our stop here. So we're at least gonna do that. Where does it make me run around? Uh-oh. Now switch ends and head for Wellwyn Garden City down fast reverse. I don't think, oh, it did set, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the, um, I'm gonna stay in my side of the cab. I really don't care. I'm gonna stay in my side of the cab. So I'm just gonna go in reverse because we're gonna have to change ends anyway. And I'm gonna take liberty in the game environment that we're just gonna go in reverse. Normally we would not do this. We would actually be required to change ends and go in the other direction, but we can uh, just, do it just as easily by uh, eventually. I can't see a thing. There we go. So it's just like we're in the other cab going forward. See what I mean? It's just like we're in the other cab. <laughs> Why not? There's our cars. So a little bit of creative liberty here. Say hello to everybody. The signal is clear for us to go in that direction. Now this is why we would normally change and actually go in the other cab because we have to be able to see the signal. We are getting a some kind of a shunt signal here. Yeah, there's our white shunt signal. That is our signal because it did just change. So we are clear on that signal. We are gonna be shunt, that tells us we're gonna be shunting off the, uh, into the siding again. We're going up to a 30. We're now uh, going under a bridge. That was the bridge we were under. Moving over one line again. We're going to find our way to Wellwind Garden City down fast reverse. And once we are there, we're going to stop before we reach the 115 limit. Look at all the trains over in the siding there, all the uh, 375s. 
So I'm applying a brake that you can't see right now. I am going to bring the train to a stop. Once again, you can see the path remains set to go into the siding at this time. We will reconnect to our train right there as soon as we are finished this stop. So the stop is now taking place. I'm going to go back into my main cab. We're going to watch the train fully stop. I'll put the train back into a forward position. And get, going to get ready to move. How's our computer hanging up there? Ah, uh, yep, 6.30, almost 6.38. There you go. Fuel, fuel uh, is indicated. It's the 17th of August, 2014. Good to know. There we are. Switch ends again, which I never did. And couple up your, to your wagons at WGC Upsidings. Couple. Now, since I know we are coupling to wagons that are sitting there waiting for us, we're going to have to make sure we slow it down for that. Boy, that gets up to speed in a hurry. So let's just check the map as to where we are. Yep, we're going to be going off quite a bit here. Uh, when a track moves off to the... We're going to be eventually going on to the leftmost track, but when another track moves off left of us, that's where our cars are going to be coupling up. So we have a general idea of the lay of the land. We can go whatever speed we want to right now. But once we're on the leftmost track, we need to start slowing it down. So two tracks over, I believe. Because I know we're coupling the cars, I don't want to go too fast. And I'm going to therefore leave it like it is. And once this coupling is complete, our scenario is done. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get out to an external camera view as I connect. Peering ahead. There's my cars on the left. Once again, pass by Welwyn Garden City, which gets to see some lovely activity this morning. Train spotters rejoice. There's a truck depot over there. Ah, the alien transport. How dare these alien vehicles try to do our jobs for us. Well, actually, they kind of work with us. We're just kind of poking fun here. They take what we deliver, and they move it where we can't go. But where we are, how dare they try to take our jobs from us? Taking just a wee bit of speed off here as we get ready to couple. And this should do it. As soon as we finish coupling, that's going to be the end of the scenario. You can see our red light indicator on the train right now. We didn't disable that. And we're about to finish. Excellent work, driver. You are now ready to head back northwards. Please load part two of this scenario to do just that. We will do that next week. So uh, I want to keep one Class 66 scenario each week here for the time being to do the, to prolong the celebration of the 66. So part two of this scenario will be next week. And I'm going to have another scenario after that two weeks from now. In the meantime, stay tuned for more content this weekend. I'm Psycho. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. All that is free. And I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever it is for you, you're part of the world. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. I'm Cyclone. Bye-bye.